Hey, what is up, you guys? My name is Simon, and welcome to That's Gay. This theme week is talking about coming out and our stories. The complicated part about my story is that I've actually come out about three or four times, and for different reasons, actually. So let's just start it off. I'm not really going by notes or anything here, so I'm just going to try to do this from the best of my memory and the best of my ability to just put it on you guys. First time I came out was when I was 16. It wasn't necessarily a, a proud moment. Uh, it wasn't even me trying to come out because of accepting who I am. I came out because I didn't want to be gay. I was religious and I thought that this is what God wants and I also wasn't really given a choice whether or not I was really able to, to want to tell my mom or not exactly. So the situation turned into confiding into somebody in the church. It was actually my youth pastor. He became my accountability for a little bit where I had to go through this process of trying to cure myself and trying you know, read scripture and do whatever to try to convince myself otherwise lusting and all that stuff like that. It was more of a self-hating flipping type of uh, process that turned into me having forced into telling my mom and I was so terrified. I thought that she was going to disown me. It was a really rough time in my life. She obviously didn't want me to be gay but at the same time she was doing what she thought was what I wanted. It's what she wanted and she thought was possible. She sent me to counseling. Christian therapist who would try to basically just talk to me and was trying to basically encourage me to just, you know, not be gay. She would ask me, you know, Simon, are you still having those feelings? And I was just like, yeah, I am, but I'm trying really hard. She's like, Simon, I'm so disappointed, blah, blah, blah. I think you really need to do a better job. It really discouraged me from being honest with her. So for a while I told her, I'm doing way better. I'm do I feel cured and I feel like, you know, uh, everything is working and all the steps that I'm taking is working. That ended up leading into a situation where I was looking for comfort and I was looking for somebody to be close to and someone who would make me feel a little bit more validated because I felt like I was being controlled and my phone was being watched. You know, I really wasn't allowed to do a lot of things for a while and I also wasn't even allowed to go to certain places because uh, mom would be worried about me making eye contact with people. Anything that would encourage me to be gay. I mean, I couldn't even watch TV because that would leave me with lust. Yes, like I said, I was looking for comfort. I was looking for somebody to be there and that led uh, to a relationship with uh, a music pastor of my church who had a wife and two kids. I was 18 at the time and I thought I was going to keep this to myself and I wanted to for the most part, but I thought at the time where I still wanted to cure myself that this wasn't right. I mean, I distanced myself from him even though he and I played worship music for the youth and everything. I was really close to this person and it just really sucked because I just didn't feel like I had much self-control. I thought it was just a terrible thing to do, which it was because, I mean, he made a commitment to somebody and he was doing this. And all of this, he was basically the person I considered to be in the wrong. Either way, I wanted to bring healing to us. I wanted to cure us and make us happy, godly people. And so I ended up, like a year later, after we had done some things and I, you know, kind of made it stop, decided to tell a few people because I was going to tell my mom. And apparently it got out. It ended up turning into a terrible situation where I ended up confiding and sub submitting to questioning to my church where I went under an investigation because he was denying everything and it just really sucked. But I spent most of my teen years in this church and moved away in there after my dad had died and so I was figuring that they you know would be on my side and they would try to help me out and would see things through. So that didn't happen. They ended up calling me a liar after hours of questioning. They basically covered it up and that shit was really lame. I had to tell my mom like very specific details about what me and this man did. But what came out of this was really amazing because I was able to have a better relationship with my mom. I was able to be honest with her completely, but at the same time, she wasn't too okay with me being gay and she didn't know how to you know, take it. I just had a really rough time and I wanted to die. A place that I had grown up in and had helped me get over my dad's death and you know had helped me get through a lot of my depression and stuff like that ended up kicking me out and like turning its back on me. I don't think it was right, but sometimes a lot of really good things can come out of situations like that, and it did. My mom was completely okay with me being gay. It took a long road for that because from the third time that I ended up coming out, after I was pledging fraternity in college, and uh, my mom and my sister had scared me a lot about coming out and letting people know that I was gay as soon as I started going to school. I kind of put that 
on hold for a little while. I was just pledging. I didn't really go through the whole uh, process. I didn't finish because there was a homophobic situation that occurred and it just really um, turned me off. You know, I came out, I figured the best way to go about helping people was to start a YouTube channel and just to talk about my experiences and tell them regardless of how much shit you're going through, regardless of how much life throws at you, you can just keep going and I am just happier than I've ever been in my life and being able to come out and tell people about what I've gone through and just really be able to be who I am, it's completely changed my life. I'm happier than I've ever been and I am excited to kind of see where my life goes. Being gay is pretty much the most normal thing ever. Sometimes I just forget it because it's it's just me. It doesn't define you know, my gender expression. It doesn't define what I like or what I don't like. I consider being gay being a huge gift. I think it's amazing. I think I wouldn't want it any other way. Yes, I would have wanted things to be easier, but I really wouldn't be who I am. So thank you for watching this video. Please go down and click like and also subscribe to this channel and go and check out my channel. I appreciate you watching this and I will see you guys later.